Now, like I'm trying to explain too, there's also a double standard if it's an older man with a younger girl versus, say, a teacher with a student, right? A female teacher with a male student, right? Like Mary Kay Letourneau and all that, right? You, you often play games with it, right? right? And that's the problem, too. Now, how old is the girl in question? 15, right? 15 can know better, right? <laughs> That's the problem, too, right? <laughs> four might not know better, but four ain't supposed to be waking up her stepdad at all, right? Not in the middle of the night, right? See, see if something's gonna happen, it's gonna be after we all go to sleep, right? Not when we're awake, right? Either the mom's there the whole day, all day. <laughs> the only time something could happen is if she sneaks in there at night and then I don't know what's going on, and I'm confused, right? I'm not myself, right, right? I'm not doing what I would normally do what with a child because she's not eating or anything. There's no blame in that statement either, right? <laughs> you you can't do nothing about it, right? Now, whatever reasons the child's in there, though, once she's in there, you, you got to deal with it, right? And there's only four reasons a child will wake you up in the middle of the night. Pee, right? Bathe, right? <laughs> Food or drink, right? Or simple curiosity, I am a new stepdad, I guess, right? right? But you gotta listen to the story or you're making it up yourself, right? You can't add to the story the situation I actually was in, right? It's not one where you can molest a child anyway, right? Now, when you come to my channel and say dumb stuff, then what can stop you from sounding dumb? Idiot, that's what you're doing, right? <laughs> you're accusing me on YouTube. Or no one goes to the channel. Uh, yeah, they can. Right, they can. It don't matter if they are or not. Right? It's still out there, right? <laughs> Even if they don't promote me, right? It can somehow get posted on someone's page, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's supposed to be free and to the public, too, right, right. Now, I'm not telling you nothing bad to do, right, right. But, like, SCU today is dealing with that on USA, right. Chat room, right. Okay, a sexual assault case involving a teenage girl right leads Benson and Stabler to set up a sting operation to trap internet pedophiles right, right. this is season one episode 18 <laughs> Now, I've been known about that, though, before that show aired, right? Trust me, trust me. In 98 or so, I have this girl calling herself Hillary <laughs> from some other state trying to bait me and, you know, set something up with her, but I never did, right? I'm trying to meet someone as a girlfriend, right? And I know the that a real relationship takes time, right? So what I'm trying to do is get to know the person, right, right, not just sexually. I ask her about school, I keep it PG, right, right. <laughs> so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> Why I haven't gotten in trouble in 53 years, right. <laughs> and this was aired April 14th, 2000, right. You wonder why they can't entrap me? Because I don't do nothing dumb. I don't say nothing dumb. I try to ask your age, right? See, that's the legal way to communicate with someone. Even if you're underage, right? But then I got to keep it PG, right? I can't talk to a child as I'm an adult. I can't bring up sex unless it's something they're willing to talk about themselves. And even then, I got to say, well, you're supposed to talk to your parents about that. <laughs> 
That's the point. Dude, that's called using your head. Right. Now, I can tell you about the mechanics, but I can't tell you who to do it with or, you know, because you ain't got to follow the rules either, either. So does the young lady have to follow the same rules, right? As the adult, right? Otherwise, it's like Fast Times at Ridge Rock High, where the older dude did sleep with the younger girl because she had a fake ID, right? See, that's another problem, a fake ID, right? <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> and once you show up to someone's house, they can't really do much about it anyway. For example, if some underage girl comes by my home, right, and I meet them, right, and I don't know what to do with them, right, and they insist on sex with me, what can I do with them but let them have sex with me, right, right? Hypothetically speaking, there, right? See, that ever happened, but if it were to happen, that's how it would have to happen, right? The girl is curious, right? She does not want sex with that age girl. <laughs> Don't tell me they can't do that either, either. Right? All she had to do is tell me she's 37, right? Why? Because that's the employer's responsibility, right? Right. See, who hired the girls while she's working in the store? Not me, not you. See, you're trying to shirt responsibility. Right. When she can't do that job. <laughs> you Asians got to get that through your thick skull. In Georgia, there are laws to protect children from doing certain jobs. You can't work as a bartender, for example, until you're 18. <laughs> you're not even supposed to work as a waitress in the bar, but they might allow that. <laughs> But even then, you got to be a certain age there, too, probably, right? <laughs> like a 16 and older, I guess. I don't know. I don't know that part. <laughs> but I do know a bartender has to be able to serve alcohol. they got to be over 18. Now, even at 18, though, they can't drink it legally until they're 21. Right. That's, again, how Mr. Spacey got in trouble with the 18-year-old boy. Right. Working as a bartender. <laughs> And not making sure he was 21 yet either, either right? Mm -hmm. But that's just a faux pas, right? You know what I mean? No, no. It's the boy's responsibility, too, right? At 18, right? It's not all, all Mr. Spacey, either, right? <laughs> With all due respect to Kevin, right? <laughs> He's just a single male dating males, right? So I understand that, right? And permission is also what God's talking about, or Jesus is talking about. You have permission to do things on the Sabbath now, right? Don't kill yourself over picking up sticks like Moses did <laughs> to the Egyptian. Don't you know when the law's going crazy? <laughs> Let's stone all the gay people. <laughs> That's crazy. Hello? That's what we're talking about here. Right. So I didn't stole the woman caught in the act of adultery, whether it's his wife or not. <laughs> I mean, let's just put it in a nutshell. Right. But they're supposed to bring her to her husband. <laughs> Do you understand the point? Right. It's her husband who decides whether she's stolen or not in the first place. It's not Jesus. Okay? <laughs> he can't decide her fate anyway if he's not her husband. <laughs> I keep telling you that, too. There's, there's several reasons that will be one of them. If he wasn't her husband, he can't decide her fate. Right. Only her husband can't. Right. Or was he her husband that he knew it? <laughs> That's your problem, too. Right. If it is his wife and she committed adultery, he could have stoned her. Right. With the man, though. There's another faux pas. Right. Both of them committed the act. You can't bring one or the other to him. <laughs> Where's the man? Where's the man? Right. Well, he wrote twice. <laughs> Both is something you could have said, right? Or to be stoned, right? And where's the man? No man, no man. Low ish. <laughs> where's the man? <sighs> right, wrong, right, wrong. <laughs> right, I'll break. <laughs> right, right, wrong, right. Good or evil. <laughs> That's the problem. The knowledge of good and evil is evil. <laughs> right, right. Itself is uh, 
said, uh, if you even think adulterous thoughts, you're an adulterer. You want to have sex with another person, right? See, that's the point about forgiving it, right? Versus condemning it. When you condemn it and you want to do it yourself, you're condemning others too in yourself and yourself. For even thinking it, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's why it's complicated. It's also written in ancient Greek. <laughs> And also the Hebrew version of Greek, right? It's not the Greek version of Greek. It's the Hebrew version of Greek, right? They spell certain words differently than the original Greek, right? Especially the body parts of a woman versus a man, right? Now, stethos is the chest of a man. Mastos, the chest of a woman, usually, right? In the Greek, there's two specific words, not one, no one. We have chest or breath, right? Now, you have to have female or male in the English, right? right. Well, the word used in John in Revelations is the female word for chest, not the masculine word. I keep telling you that, too, period, right? Unless you're changing the definition because you can't handle the truth, right? See, I keep telling you that, too. You can change the definition of any word and lie about it. <laughs> but if you go to the Strong's Concordance... It says perhaps associated with a woman's breast, right? <laughs> Not a male, sorry. <laughs> and John's also the only man who can testify of his breasts if he had them, right? Meaning he's truly androgynous, right? Like Eve and Adam, right? If you're taking the flesh of Eve from Adam, right? He. No, she is bone of his bone and face of his face because his body has changed, right? From both into two, right? How do you think he knows she's bone of his bone and flesh of his fish? Right. She shall be woman for she was taken out of me. I don't know. If something's in you and you're taking it out of her, you, right? You're seeing the full manifestation of the female, right? Which is the last of the creations of God, by the way, right? The male is the middle man between the image of God and the image of the female, right? You're in between the two, right? And Satan has so clouded your judgment with impercontity, by the way, a man, a pagan male, right? So much so he made the image of God back to male, right? When it was never male or female or female. <laughs> Regulations and Deuteronomy 4, 16. Right. Uh, oh, right. And that's your problem too. Right. To do good and communicate, forget not with such sacrifice as God as well. Please, well, you quit communicating all this, right? So if you don't talk about it, nobody knows about it. That seems crazy to you today, right? After 1,700 years of lying about it, men to men, right? Not knowing the difference. It's only mentioned by John, who's the only one to see it once. once. In the book of Revelation, in the first chapter, right? You could read over it and ignore it for the rest of your life and nobody cares, right? Like they keep telling me, nobody cares, we know that, right? Nobody cares, right? Jesus knows you don't care, right? <laughs> the Father of all spirits knows you don't care, right? The Father of all lights. <laughs> the maker of heaven and earth. Gas and matter. Yes, and matter. <sighs> and see, in heaven, they're a gaseous flaming form, right? In Earth, we're terrestrial, made of dust, gas, and water. And water. <laughs> right. uh, you're denying one of the three elements is water. Is water. <laughs> we're elementals, right? Already, already. <laughs> we're made from the elements of the Earth, right? Earth. She is our mother, right? right. Like, in the Greek mythology, right? Gaia, they call her, or Gaia. Um, oh, oh. 
And see, what we're doing is we're making God father only without a mother. Well, you can't have a son without both, right? You have to have an adult father and mother to have a child, right? Son and daughter, right? right. Or daughter now, but right, maybe you need it with both, right? right. Now, what clues you in again is that they didn't become one flesh and bone again, but one flesh. And like I told you about the male penis, it's the only mammal <laughs> who doesn't have a bone in the penis. <laughs> so literally, you're becoming one flesh and not one flesh and bone again, right? right. With the female, right? All the other mammals have a bone in their penis. Well, only the maker can make us without a penis bone, but every other member with a penis bone. <laughs> That's a design flaw, huh? Right. If the apes have a penis bone, right? The gorilla, the monkey, <laughs> the chimpanzee, right? And we don't. We're not an ape. We're not an ape either. We're made without that, right? <laughs> we use blood to pump the penis, right? <laughs> FYI, educational purposes. <laughs> you do? <deep? Okay. laughs> Not because the penis bone helps, right? As with other primates, right? right. So we're different in that genre, too. Even the dolphin has a penis bone. Even the whale <laughs> has a penis bone, right? It's a mammal, too, right? Any mammal has a penis bone, but us. But us. And they try to play it now. Oh, well, that's just a design flaw. Oh, 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 oh. We're, 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 we're the only variant. Well, yeah, we are. And only a maker, a designer, can leave out the penis bone with us and put it in every other mammal. <laughs> that's what you're denying, too, right? See, nobody cares because the love of idiots likes to call like Jesus said, right? <laughs> And that's our problem too, right? All right. Well, time to see some movies, right?